everyone. Welcome to my channel. Uh, my name is Nicole and if this is the first time you're here, it's cool because this is my first video so you didn't miss anything. This channel is going to be about fitness over 40 basically. I am 47 years old and started my fitness journey this time around a couple years ago. I'm going into my third year of weightlifting. I discovered the app FitBod and it is a wonderful app. It's changing things up for me in the gym. And I am now focusing on becoming a bodybuilder. And that might mean uh, not necessarily being natural. I recently, or this morning I believe it was, watched something on YouTube about how even more taboo with women being on steroids than it is with men. Women, well, just don't talk about it. Don't, no, no, we're not gonna get on steroids. We're completely natural. I'm going to open the can of worms on women using steroids. I have not started yet, but I do intend to start them in the near future. I am doing a three-day split and FitBod, it's got me on a great routine. It shows you videos of the exercises so that you can do them properly. It also has a write-up on each exercise explaining how to do each one properly so that you can work on your form and know if you're doing it right or not, which is very, very, very important in weightlifting. And it also, it's, it's a trainer, so it is learning me currently right now. I'm in my second week using it, and it's currently learning me. It's currently learning what I can lift and what my limitations are and it's tailoring my workouts for what I can lift and what I can handle. And I'm constantly giving it feedback as it's adjusting to learn me, basically. Soon, I feel like I'll be uh, in a situation where I can just follow the app, because I do believe, because it's I've got it set at bodybuilding, it is going to gradually increase weight so I am building bigger muscle, basically. And with weight training and building muscle and bulking comes protein. And we all know how bad protein shakes can taste. And when you are trying to get in 130 to 200 grams of protein a day, we all know how difficult that can be. When you're trying to get in 130 to 200 grams of protein, and that's just my size. Protein shakes is where it's at, let's face it. Uh, if you're bodybuilding, you live by protein shakes. I'm trying to spice that up a little bit, make them taste good. Because these are my meals right now. I'm, I'm drinking at least two a day that are at probably 60 grams of protein. And then like a balanced meal once a day too, is what my, my goal for nutrition is right now because I am bulking. And then in the near future, I am going to start a cycle of Anavar. So um, I'm very, very curious to see how my body is going to transform. And I know it's gonna be huge. I've watched my body transform. I recently had a setback because we all have setbacks, right? I've been pretty depressed about my industry and I went through a month or so where I was really struggling and having a hard time getting out of bed, depressed, not going to the gym as much as I was, eating whatever the hell I wanted to eat. And then, you know, in June was my birthday and I went to get my yearly physical and I saw how much weight I'd gained on the scale. And I also got my blood work back on my cholesterol and my cholesterol is the highest it's ever been. So I now am watching fat content on everything that I eat. We're gonna be looking at a low fat diet as well because that is what I need to do for my personal body. Earlier today, I filmed uh, my morning yoga and booty workout, which is 25 minutes. It's a 10 minute stretch and a 15 minute booty workout. I got dressed, but I needed to stop and get gas. So when I was getting gas, gas literally splashed out all over me, all over my phone, all over my hand, all over my clothes, my skin, everywhere. 
I was like, luckily just down the street from my house, and I was like, I've gotta go home and change. I cannot go to the gym smelling like gas. I don't wanna smell it. I don't want anyone else to have to smell it. With gasoline on my skin and sweating and opening my pores, I did not want gasoline seeping into my body. So I had to go home and change. And hence, the outfit change for the day. So today what I recorded was my morning stretch, my booty workout. I recorded myself doing a couple of different exercises in the gym. Then I recorded myself at the grocery store. And then I recorded myself doing a, a grocery haul. Unfortunately, my microphone had fallen off and was on the floor and I didn't realize it, so the audio is kind of bad. I'm gonna adjust that whatever I can in post-production. I recorded me making a protein shake for you all. And then I took my dogs to go play frisbee at the park down the street. Kind of, this was my day. This was a day in the life of a fitness vlogger. I know that with time, I'm gonna get a lot more comfortable in front of the camera. I'm used to being behind the scenes, not in front of it. I just recorded an outro, and after I was done doing everything that I wanted to do, I realized my microphone was off. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for sitting through, if you sat through for the seven minute journey, uh, a little intro about my channel. I'm gonna be trying to put out videos once a week. We'll see, I, I'm gonna at first try to do two or three. Let's, let me see how editing goes. I've got some content now, I can make some other videos. If you wanna follow me along my journey, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell if you wanna be notified every time I put a video out. Thank you so much. I hope to see you again real soon. Bye now.